congratulations to the class of 2018. Woo! Guys did it! Yay! A special shout out to all the HBCU brats. my alma mater, Payne College, in Augusta, Georgia, last year, May 7, 2017. Ooh, ooh, so it's been about a year. Just to reminisce on that day, because you know, it was like a year ago. This was the hat that I wore. I decorated my own graduation cap, so I had to get two grad caps because my college would not allow us to decorate our hats like, but you know, whatever. Mine says, but it says dot, 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 but God. And my favorite color is purple, so I had some purple glitter all up in there. But basically, the meaning behind my hat was because I could have failed, but God. I could have never graduated, but God. There were so many things and so many factors that stood in the way of me graduating, but God. You get the drift? Okay, cool. And this was my stole that I wore amongst other things, but class of 2017, woo! This brings back so many memories, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wanna graduate all over again. It was one of the best moments of my life ever. I felt so loved, I felt so appreciated. I was just like, oh my God, we did it, yay! <laughs> Y'all, like, it was just so amazing. It was such a happy feeling. What the class of 2018 is going through right now, I know what they're feeling like. There's, it's a joy like none other. It's like all of your hard work has finally paid off. So, I get it. The first pointer I would definitely give somebody who just graduated college is to definitely definitely be serious this is not the time to play this is not the time to you know go hang out and it's great to celebrate your graduation and all of that but don't forget about don't forget about your grind your hustle your focus like what is it that you are here to do all right number two i would definitely say don't get depressed if you don't get the job of your dreams or you don't find a job in your career <laughs> y'all let me tell you about the struggle you don't know anybody in the field that you are trying to obtain or anybody that can be of assistance it's going to be extremely extremely hard these jobs do not come looking for you nobody's going to come knocking at your door it's almost as if a bachelor's degree it equates to having a high school diploma because it's kind of like everybody has one now so it's like you have a bachelor's degree so what like okay so it's kind of like they're trying to make people get master's degrees now or graduate degrees now but Either way, having a bachelor's degree is an extreme accomplishment. It doesn't matter how long it took you to get it. The point is that you got it. There are times when you're gonna feel like you're just not enough, or you're gonna feel like college was probably a waste of time depending on what your major was. And unless you majored in like nursing or like engineering or something, you know, that you'll probably get, you, that'll get you a job immediately. But for those of us that did not, I um, would highly, highly suggest that understand that depression is real and you don't want to be like locked up in your thoughts thinking that nothing's ever going to happen for you you're never going to get a breakthrough you're never going to be enough know that you are enough and know that something will happen for you it's just a matter of time and patience and faith my fourth pointer would definitely be don't be afraid of humbling jobs and humbling positions and when i say humbling jobs and humbling positions i mean positions such as fast food restaurant jobs or jobs in retail I mean and the list goes on there's nothing necessarily wrong with that don't feel like you're being judged I'm not saying go announce it to the world that you have a job at a fast food restaurant or, or wait for your career there's nothing wrong with working at a job or a humbling position who knows like God could be using you in that humbling position and making sure that you get the skills that you need in that position to elevate you to the career that you are actually going to get and you would have never known had you not worked at that 
job. You can't feel so proud and be like, well, I have a bachelor's degree, so I'm not going to work at such and such job that I could get, you know, without a degree. Especially if you don't have a job anywhere else, like that can get so that can get so frustrating. Like y'all don't even understand that can get extremely, extremely. You can like really get hard on yourself thinking that you're just not enough. The way I look at it, any job that you're able to obtain is going to give you some sort of an experience, which is something that you need to get to your next level. My fifth and final point is definitely network. Network, 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 network. In turn, if you did not network while you were in college, you are fresh out of college, so this is the time. Get on your grind, start calling places, start seeing who you who you know that can help you because like me, I I didn't I networked, but I I feel like I could have networked more if I knew the importance of it, if I realized the importance of it. I thought I was going to get a job just like that. All I need is a degree and I'm good lies <laughs> lies 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 i don't know what they told you but ain't no there are no jobs knocking down my door Client, i have never gotten so many no's in my life like dang y'all really know how to make somebody feel so bad about themselves but you just gotta keep pushing like you gotta understand that even if you get a thousand no's you're gonna get one yes if you can't find a job see if maybe there's like a internship like a paying internship if you can't get paid at least you can get the experience like do something Something that's going to add experience to your resume. Building your resume is, a, is important too. Something that's going to show, you know, these careers, these jobs, who you are and what you've accomplished. So sometimes being the president of the Writers Club while you were in college and, you know, being on the debate team and being on, you know, these different things, they matter while you're in college. But honestly, they don't really matter when you graduate from college. You can kind of spice it up. You know, you can kind of spice up certain positions depending on what career you're going for. So, yeah, sometimes it does matter. But more than likely, it's just not going to matter. And that sucks because when you're in college, you feel like, okay, that's your world, right? The only time that that really matters on when you're trying to join other organizations in college or you're trying to be more known, you're trying to get yourself out there, be more active then yeah i don't want anybody to look at this video and be like oh so me doing this it doesn't matter you know it does it does it's probably build your character it's helped you evolve it definitely does matter i'm just saying when it comes to finding a job like your resume isn't really gonna you can't put like okay i was on the cheerleading team jobs are not looking for that like ain't nobody looking for that like people are looking for some real real like real life like you intern at a hospital if you're a nursing major or you are going to med school or you you know you enter at a law office like you know someone in a law office like things like that thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video of mine please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share a like comment subscribe and share a like comment subscribe and share a earth Y'all, but for real, for real, go ahead and click the button below, subscribe button below, like, comment, share with everybody that you know. I would truly appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.